This is how you save hundreds of dollars, and we got enough food for eight people. We're choosing our meats. When I do hot pot, I love a lot of different taste and texture. So right here, we have lamb shoulder for a little funkiness and a little adventurous people. Brookshire pork is better than your average pork. It's an heirloom breed. I always splurge and get a nice cut of beef. This is Snake River Farms Wagyu, a pound for every four people. If you're doing hot pot at home and you don't know how to make a broth, don't worry, 99 Ranch got you. We always get this sauce. It's Goma Shabu, and it's great with uh, beef, lamb, or pork. You dip your meat in it. These fish balls are fun because it's filled with a little bit of lobster roe. And when you bite into it, it squirts out juice into your mouth for a fun little surprise. We have ponzu here. We're gonna mix this with the grated daikon. It's gonna taste great. This is a traditional Japanese way to eat hot pot and chili crisp. This is my favorite brand. Next to Lagama, this is the, this is the second best. Sesame paste, uh, we're gonna mix that all in with our soy paste and our bull's head uh, barbecue sauce, our shallot sauce, and we're gonna crack an egg in it. We just finished shopping for making hot pot at home. 